I'm Justin, DevOps Engineer, and I switched from Bitwarden to Keeper Business. For more reviews like these, please click the link below. Storing passwords is a common business problem. Whenever you're in DevOps as I am, you've also got the problems of storing API keys and other sensitive credentials of that nature, uh, colloquially referred to as secrets. So at a basic level, we're trying to solve password management. On a more business level, we're trying to solve secret management. Keep your business is good if you're looking for something that's backed by a larger business that has ongoing development and that is trying to get things at a more ad hoc level. In other words, you have very inexpensive base levels of service and you can pick and choose as you see fit. If you have more minimal needs, if you want something that kind of meets the base requirement and is supported by a big business, Keep your business may be worth a look. Bitwarden is great if you like supporting the open source community. Bitwarden is open source, and you can't even run your instance if you want to. They also have commercial plans. However, the Bitwarden team is considerably smaller than something like Keeper. I'd say Bitwarden is best if you like having something that's open source, that's built on open standards, and if you want to support something like that. Getting started with both programs is very similar. Both offer the ability to import credentials from existing password managers that you may have used in the past, something like LastPass, 1Password, even our, uh, each other. You can import them from CSV files typically or something of that nature. And from there, they both have a decent amount of documentation. Keeper has an almost mind-boggling amount of documentation, and Bitwarden has a pretty decent selection for an open source project. I would say between the two, Bitwarden is definitely more intuitive, and Keeper has a bit of a more confusing design, so you kind of need the additional documentation for that. If you're looking for a password manager or a secrets manager, the first thing to think about, of course, is security. How secure is your provider? If it's a proprietary software company like Keeper, then you can't audit the source code. You need to trust their word about how secure they are. With Bitwarden, that's a little bit easier. The other thing is, who is this actually backed by? I support open source software. On the other hand, having actual people develop pay, who are paid to develop it on a regular basis does count for a lot too. Finally, consider the feature set that you need because that can make a big difference in terms of pricing. With something like Keeper, for instance, you start off with a more reasonable base rate and you can add additional products as you go. Whereas with Bitwarden, the overall cost may be kind of middling, but you get more of an all-inclusive plan. 